18 year old daughter about how my high school was like i always highlight the fact that um you know very very simple ang atong mga kalipay right we find so much joy and happiness you know with with each other's company wala tay gadgets back then wala tay social media back then so we just gather together sometimes we all flock together as one class dito bi sa balay nila Carla and we would just have so much fun being in each other's company and that's something that i really miss about high school so just like me pod i would always like to recall those time nga nagadula ko softball tanan namong paningkamot ang kahago ang ang mga kabuang namo nga ginapang buhat of course tay kalipay and also na apoy mga muhilak kay tungod nga pildi pod mi sa dula but yeah all of those experiences challenges and um tanan to siya nahitabo no uh, molded me and taught me a good lesson in life and uh, that's being resilient and um you just have to go with the flow uh, what are my fondest memories in high school? Oh my god, I have hips. Like, I can't forget the campings, the, the field demos, the bandings that we do after school, like going to shopping center. Like, we only have JSK Sano back then, but we had fun. Or, or we go to one of our friends' houses and bond there. My high school life was definitely so colorful and full of exciting memories. One of my fondest memories as a Marian is being a sports person. I actively played basketball, softball, and table tennis. I represented the school in table tennis and won not the gold, but the silver. It was my proudest moment. My fondest memories ever during my high school was lounging or let's say staying at the library until 6 p.m. just to pretend of studying to see our crushes every afternoon dito sa library yun. Kaya mga college na mga lalaki nagatambay man dito sa library. So mangigat sa takajot. But Somehow, those moments greatly helps me to attain my grades high. So it has an it had an advantage on my part back then. One of my fondest memories in high school, as I remember, absinot ba ay kasi una no. Siguro kung bahay pa ba siya kung makatapad labi na hatong mga kito gahit sila Irish si Bigis. Si Barca o si Ibeta, shout out sa ila ha. Sila akong mga katapad permin, ana sila sa kulikod or atubangan. Sila akong perminti pa kayo o papel. Usahay with answer pa. O di ba buton kayo? <laughs> As, there's always a happy and fun times that I could remember back then. And me and my friends used to go chit-chatting in the canteen, in the quadrangle, and then when we go out after school, we go a little shopping at GS Gaisano, and then during the weekend, we go to watch a movie in a bug cinema. And also, we used to go visit the Gold City, so that was fun to remember. And then, it, you used to invite our partner for the JS prom that was also very cute to remember in high school madami ako memories na hindi makakalimutan gaya ng pagdisect ng paki uh, yung mga barkada na nabuo and the rosary and a lot that more my fondest moment was being a member of the rondalia under the baton of the late Sir Orsawa, magnificent musician. Thank you for the unprecedented talents of our mentors for sharing their efforts. We salute you. One of the fondest memories I have as a Marian is having teachers that are genuinely interested in the well-being and success of the students in every step of the way. 
which stems in the true Marian spirit. So one of my fondest memories during high school days is during our interpretative dance, the Aguila days, because every time we compete this competition, we always won. One of the fondest memories I had in St. Mary's was to become part of the first Aiders Club. It was like a dream come true for me when I was in uh, first year. I did say to myself, one day I'm going to be part of the club. But the process was really tough physically and mentally, especially for me. I was a very reserved and quiet student back then. Uh, it was like going to a fraternity initiation, but I didn't give up. And luckily, I was one of the very few people who made it till the end. The fondest memories of being a Marianista in St. Mary's. Well, there were a lot of memories, but there was this time where we left our notebooks and our books and our bags outside the classroom, somewhere even on the ledges, just so we could avoid class. So of course, it didn't go well and we were suitably punished, but it was fun. There were a lot of times actually when we'd make up these activities, we'd make up these things to do and we'd make them as official sounding as possible. And sometimes it works, but sometimes it doesn't. Oh.